the worst kept secret in rugby <laughs> league. Michael Maguire will be announced as the Blues coach. Mm, shock horror. <gasps> Who'd have thought? Oh, I know. <laughs> wow. And obviously um, he's, he's gone from the Kiwis, which he's already spoken about, but what's the go with it's the Raiders? Got, it's got a little bit of a last man standing feel about it, hasn't it? The um, Blues? Yeah, a little bit. You know, they were obviously want, they were keen on Craig. Freddie pulled the pin. Um, I think he'll stay at Canberra. They're going to offer him a reduced role. Uh, initially, it was talk he would go and they, would, they wouldn't keep him around. Mm-hmm. But then I think they've sort of landed on a point where um, he has almost a consultancy role with them. Right. Um, you know, if, he, if he'd kept the Kiwi job, maybe that wouldn't have been the case. But now the Kiwi job's gone. He's got a bit more time in his hands. Mm-hmm. And that's, um, that's where I think they'll land. I think Madge is keen on, on doing that. So he'll still be involved in Canberra. Um, yeah, you know, I'm in, intrigued to see how he goes as Blues coach. I mean, he's yeah. always done really well with the Kiwis. Yeah, uh, really well. But this, the, the Blues feel like, you know, Freddie had that great start to his time in charge. Yep. But it just feels like the last couple of years has been pretty dysfunctional. Mm. Um, and as a Queenslander, I've loved every minute of it. <laughs> what, what should be top of the agenda? For, uh, a lot of talk about the different things Madge has got to do. What's what's the most important? What's the first big move? Well, he's obviously got to get his staff right. Yeah. And that's, that's integral. If he get, mm. gets his staff right, the balance right there, um, that's important. And I think he just needs to get his leaders sorted. But the key, the key is injuries, right? And he can't yeah. control that. I mean, yeah. they had no Tommy, no Latrell. Mm. You stick those two guys in that team. Yeah. yeah. Completely different yeah. team. That's right. Completely different yeah. team. Yeah. He's got to, and he's got to make, you know, the biggest issue he's going to face next year is Teddy and the fullback position and what he does and whether he keeps him. Mm. Um, who else I'll, would be the Blues fullback? Um, Dylan, well, who are the who are the options again? Edwards, Tommy, Latrell, Tommy yeah. Latrell, yeah. Dylan. I think Tommy's your fullback, right? If he's fly, well, sorry. If Teddy's playing well, starts next year well, Teddy's. I think Teddy stays fullback, mm-hmm. right? But if Teddy and the Roosters struggle, um, or they lose game one, he's, then he's got to make a call. Mm. Jeez, your rooster could cost us Origin and Robbo's job at this point. <laughs> Come on, Russ. Yeah, well, wouldn't mind seeing Teddy just focus mm. on the roosters. Yeah. What do you reckon? Really bad would you? Would Teddy be your fullback game one next year? Uh, yeah. Looking at those other options, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I like if if Latrell and and, and Turbo are fit, uh, those two in the centres with Teddy at fullback. I, I sat with Russ for Dynamite. this year's Origin series. He yeah. was not happy with the Tedesco criticism. Let me tell you, no. I thought it was a bit over the top too. Actually, yeah. he wasn't playing great, but yeah, he wasn't on his Pat Malone. No, though. no, he wasn't. But it was, you know, not to fluff your nest, but you mm. were pointing out that he was still making 170 odd yeah. metres. And he was, and they were getting pulverised through the middle. And mm. there's yeah. only so much a fullback can do, um, mm. especially a guy that that runs that channel so well. Um, you make a little bit of room for him, give him some momentum or um, or a springboard, and he'll he'll cash in. But you know they're yeah. starting to get this this backline now. If you've got your Bradman, Bess, and yeah. guys mm-hmm. like that that are pushing, giving you that depth, that you know, and all of a sudden you well, yeah, okay, Bradman right? Best, forgot about him. Yeah, I think yeah. the other thing he's got to do, Mobs, he's got to get his team right in game one. Yeah, because mm. that's one thing Freddie yeah. failed to do the last yeah. two years. Freddie and, and the guys around him completely cocked up their he team. He played catch in up, game didn't one. He? he was playing catch up. And they up lost game squad. two years yeah. in a row. I think they lost. They lost two years yeah. in a row, right? Yeah. They lost yeah. game one, and he had to make mass changes yeah. after that. So Madge needs to make sure in game one because game one's he, Sydney, Sydney, Mel- uh, Sydney, we go Sydney, Melbourne, Sydney, Melbourne Brisbane, don't we? So you need to nail game. He needs to nail mm. game one. He needs to nail his yeah. team because we know yep. the Queensland team's going to yep. be. Yeah. The only dilemma um, Billy's got is whether he picks Kalen or not. Mm. Yeah, well, Reece, I imagine he'll be loyal and stick Reese at fullback. Whether he picks Carl on the bench and what that means for like Harry and Ben mm. Hunt, you know. Yep. So that's the only dilemma he's got. But <laughs> Queensland, we're cruising, oh. baby. <laughs> But do, do we pick Caelan Palmer or do we leave him out? Do we need him? Do we need the Dalian winner who had uh, a but, great three-month stretch? But oh, Matt just needs to make sure he gets. He needs to. He needs to nail the team mm. in Origin One because yeah. mm. if he gets that wrong, he's in all sorts. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Um, which it, it, I'll, I'll move into listener questions because we've got a couple here, but. Um, Righty from the Central Coast. Uh, no, sorry, this is Josh for our email first. So he wants to know why are people only talk about two things when it comes to Madge. Him not being able to do both jobs at the same time and his conflict of interest with players having to choose a side. I think the glaringly obvious issue is that he would be essentially coaching one half of the Kangaroos pathway system. Second to that, he was literally coaching full-time at club level while coaching the Kiwis for three years. So, um, 
What's the, I don't understand. What's his issue exactly? What's the question? Well, what's the, what's the problem here? What's going on, Josh? What's up, buddy? <laughs> I was he is he? Uh, uh, I wonder whether I mean. Is he saying why aren't we talking about Madge and how good a coach mm. he is, or Madge and how he's going to be around the mm. players? Yeah, because that's always been the the knock on Madge, or the recent knock that he's a bit intense. And but geez, it's work with the Kiwis. That's, mm. Hasn't worried them. Yeah, so Got the you know, I think all this other stuff's a bit of white noise. I mean, it's been resolved anyway mm. now because he's not coaching the Kiwis. Um, and you know, oh, yeah. I, I think I he think do I think he'll do a good job yep. with New South Wales match. But as mm. I said, it all comes down to getting your team right. Yeah. Yeah. If he doesn't nail this team, it doesn't matter how good good yeah, coach he is, right. mm. he'll get beaten. And yeah. then and then you blokes in the New South Wales media, you blue supporters <laughs> will be out for blood. Turn, won't you? You'll be calling for his head because mm. that's what you do. Unlike us, <laughs> we stick yep. loyal north of the border. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, thank you, Josh. Yeah. We stick solid. You your blokes coaching just rip and tear. Anyway, Billy. Josh Hannay, Thurston, Cam Smith, oh, just legends. Oh. Nate Miles. Yeah, Miles, yeah, yeah. Of So that'll be interesting to see who Madge gets around him in terms of form and New South Wales mm. yeah. players, right? Because yeah. Freddie, I mean, obviously Freddie had, um, Joey was around, mm. Danny Bedaris. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, and it worked for Freddie early, but Joe, um, Madge needs, because Madge, that's one aspect that Madge doesn't have. He hasn't played Origin. Mm. Right? So he doesn't, Mm. I'd imagine he, he, unless you've played it you can't really understand it mm. well, we might think we know what Origin's about but yeah, until you've yeah. been in there and played mm. it and I think Madge needs to that's one area he needs to get right he needs to have the right Origin yeah. people around him yeah well Fox Sports cool. need to stop hiring our former Origin blokes and get him into coaching setups coach, yeah. he's very close Maddie. to Matty Johns isn't he Madge yeah mm. yeah so, love a bit went alright as a coach he didn't play Origin Mm. I, think Madge, does Madge, I think Madge might go right with Gus as well. Maybe he'll bring Gus That's the guy to talk to. Yeah. Get yeah. the balance. Gus wasn't an origin player, but a great origin coach. Yeah. Mm. Get the right people in. Yep.